When darkness sees that outside is not getting you it uses also those who are called Christians by their bodies, not by their hearts. They will come next to you when they are finding information from you at the same time when they will be uh, putting the blocking spirits into your life. So that is why cleaning in the church is needed. All those tools that must be arrested. All those dirty things from the darkness kingdom they must be swept away by the fire. This is cleaning by the fire in the church. We need the fire of the Holy Spirit in the church. And we need the head of the church. Cleaning the church by his power. We cannot just sit down with demons. When demons will be continuing doing evil things into your life. So cleaning is needed in the church. Because the things of darkness are in the church controlling. People in the church discouraging the people who are in the church. They are also giving you the dreams of discouraging you. So cleaning in the church is needed. So that when you are born again, when you are in the church, you must learn to stand by the name of Jesus when you are enjoying the name. Not when you are like a slave. No. Jesus Christ doesn't work like that. The head of the church, who is Jesus Christ, is very concerned about what is happening in your life. Also you who are not yet born again, he wants you to be inside, inside to the place which is very clean, which is clean. Amen. Amen. We need this cleaning. So that we have to enjoy the name of Jesus Christ. Again, Ephesians chapter 5. We are going to read verse 11, 12, and 13. It says, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret, but all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light. For whatever makes manifest is light. By Ephesu, how labo tano, utwa timani ala sumiti, yonai wala kata itzelai. Le sikela khata timami di rong, ye isi na humo khola, yaka masu iswa neng. Sale na ebe hoi utula. Hape chedi dudu ahu, Look now. The light is the one which is exposing darkness. Where do we find the light? In the church. In the body of Jesus Christ. We know that we are the light, we are the salt. When we are the church, the church must expose darkness. Not having fellowship with the darkness. Things. But look in the churches today. People are seated having fellowship with the things of darkness right in the church. That is why people are going out 
to go and search power to come and protect the church the witch doctors are coming to protect the church. what kind of protection strengthening the church which church who is the owner of that church on Wednesday, I've heard about that man who was working with false pastors, false prophets, when he said, when those false pastors, when they want to have the service, or sometimes when they are planting their churches, they call the witch doctors. And he also said to me, also another big witch doctor, he said he came, that witch doctor came, coming to protect the church. Then I asked myself, is that witch doctor coming to protect the church, which is the body of Jesus Christ? Listen, you cannot separate yourself from your leg or your fingers. Look at yourself. Move your legs, move your fingers, move your toes. You are connected. But look now, they are calling the witch doctors to come and protect the church. I asked myself, and also the man who was exposing things there, crying, he said to me, he also visited the witch doctor and protect his church. Look now, these people, they are fellowshipping with the darkness kingdom. But the owner of the church is seeing darkness. That is why cleaning in the church is needed. When you know also this part of exposures which we are hearing is part of cleaning. All the things which are hearing now where they sleep on the pulpit, under the pulpit, before the day of the service, the so-called pastor must sleep with 12 girls, 12 ladies, old granny, widows, or whatever. That is the part of cleaning, because according to the darkness, we are supposed not to hear that. It's oh. a secret. People are fellowshipping with the darkness. Also those who are visiting the witch doctors, the false prophets for protection. Ah, it's not an issue to visit the darkness and receive the cards. And Sunday you find the same person. Yesterday, the same person was busy with the witch doctor. They were busy cutting hair or him. When he, he Sunday, we are Leila, but the same hands which were cut yesterday, but the witch, we are all <laughs> They feel that there's nothing wrong. But what about the head of the church? And also the Christians. The other one is coming from that corner. The other one is coming from that corner. The other one is having the protection. The other one, is, they are seated there, clapping hands. They say, Amen. Oh. Listen, this thing is happening. And again, those pastors, those who are dealing the sacrifices, but their spams, their liquid, they smear themselves here. Do you know that also those who are ladies, they meet with many men, young and old. After that, they apply those things, those 
liquid right on their hands is very much disgusting. You find that their hands are shining. They apply little petroleum jelly. And then, oh, 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 oh. Ay. O scale wala or leva leva na wala wa humana lor tsanchi a roba le le mustana na mo wena mila che di speme chela ai cha che ka chona ma tso le ba le mba salu kara na mila sno roba la le monna na mo ba che cha na chela che di chwa mo di tonja bona cha private ba na ba ba di che ba i cha cho kara mo thona ka ru i cha che ka petro pliam che la mila tlo tla lo pella na ka mo kereke ask yourself this question when we have come together in which name are we together in which name? Because if it's called church, it must be in the name of Jesus. Only. Not the names of the snakes, the names of the ancestors, the names of the witch doctors. Again, when we have come together in the name of Jesus Christ, the owner of the name must be pleased by whatever we are doing. We mustn't fake. We mustn't pretend. We mustn't deceive. You mustn't tell lies. When we are together in the name of Jesus, we, we must all be in the truth. And Jesus Christ says, the truth will set us free. Amen. Please. Cleaning in the church is needed. The church, the true church, the true body of Jesus is the light and is exposing the darkness kingdom. The true church of Jesus Christ. You know, in all services, and again when you are watching WRS, you will see darkness being arrested to the people whom you will be not thinking that darkness can come out there. From dignified people. And again, when you listen to the exposures of what the people they've done, some of the things we touch our mouth is when we are not connecting those people with the darkness the owner of the church is seeing the truth that's why Jesus Christ says he will call them he will call them and make them to expose when they've come in the light will go straight into their hearts and arrest their evil things then they start exposing. When they are exposing they will receive the restoration. Is the light which exposes the darkness. Coming. The church is the body of Jesus Christ. And cleaning is needed in the church. We want to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Because you cannot fellowship with the Holy Spirit when you are pretending never. The things of darkness are in the church. People are visiting darkness but to buy tell at the end not seeing anything wrong. My fellow long abasabana pause. People are telling lies, but not seeing anything wrong. Abasabana posh more. People are fornicating, but to buy a jabo fever and end up nothing wrong. Abasabana on a lint to a What about the holy Jesus who is looking at you? Well, I just saw my head to honor or in kind of concerned about his church as he has suffered. For this church. Can we read the book of Matthew chapter 16 verse 18? Matthew 16 verse 18. When Jesus Christ is teaching us about the church, his church. Matthew 16 verse 18. 
Matthew chapter 16 verse 18 it says and I also say to you that you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it Matthew chapter 16 verse 18 it says and I also say to you we are seeing the strength of the church. The true church of Jesus Christ. Yes, right. And is built on the rock. And it has been given authority. But we have the people who are in the church who are cowards. Big cowards. Whatever is threatening their lives, they are throwing themselves there. Even when the witches are threatening their lives, they are throwing their lives to them. And they are always listening when the spirits are saying, yeah, I have blacked you. I don't want you to see this. Do you know that nowadays there are people who are enjoying to hear those kind of stories, the stories of the demons when they are speaking negative things. Let me tell you that really I have prayed when I was doing many deliverance for many people when I was seeing Jesus Christ delivering them. You know, in such a way that I said to Jesus, Jesus, from that one and that one and that one and that one, why? I'm hearing all bad things. I don't want to hear that anymore. I'm telling you, let me be open to you. I said, Jesus. I don't enjoy to hear the negative things. I mean, when I'm speaking with him. I said, Jesus, I don't enjoy to hear the negative things. Then I said, I know that darkness doesn't want me. Demons, they don't want me to hear these negative things every day. And then I said, no. Deliver that person. Put a line of blocking everything. And again, in those things, also those who are saving darkness, they can do that in order to discourage you in the church. No, do you know that there are people who are saving darkness, but when they hear the name of Jesus, they fall down. When they are falling down, they start to roll and say, oh, we will kill you, we will kill you. We will block you. You are going to get an accident today. Please, Church of Jesus, let us agree that we don't want to hear negative things. We know already that darkness doesn't want us. But Christ. And I'm speaking with the church of Jesus Christ. Am I speaking with you? Are you the church of Jesus Christ? Say we need to be encouraged by Jesus Christ only. Please, do you enjoy when the demons will be saying, Hey, I've put an accident away. Hey, your car is going to be bend. Hey, your jacket is going to be torn apart. Hey, you are going to rock your feet. Hey, tell me, are you going to hear those things from Monday to Monday? I'm telling you, you will be very weak inside and outside. Hey. Hey. Can't you see that the darkness is in the church also to discourage you? So that darkness must be stopped. Here in WRS, if you manifest today, second, third, fourth, I call you. They know me. Then I said, no, 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 no. There's something wrong there. 
let us sit down with that person we are not enjoying to hear darkness speaking. we have something special the word of God and we want to enjoy and have the fellowship with the Holy Spirit enjoying that hey, we have put a lizard hey, hey, hey. So to the people who are saying that many of them are connected with the darkness according to Jesus because somebody is not connected when that person is receiving prayer quickly the person will be restored but when you are seeing this person having many weeks many months there are some connections in the line of the ancestor spirits in the lines of prophets there are many things when we are born again when we are in Jesus Christ we are right on the rock and we have strength do not be threatened by the things of darkness. Because those things of darkness, they are not in the shopping mall where they are saying, hey, I will kill you. Hey, all this right. Immediately when they say, in the name of Jesus, hey, we will do this. Hey. Because those things are not in the shopping mall the church of Jesus has strength because it's built on the rock. Its foundation is Jesus Christ himself. When darkness, things are trying to come inside is when they are coming with people. Like what I gave you the example of the country Israel according to how Jesus Christ explained. I'm not saying or he is not saying that you cannot get demons there. He says the land is free. The people, they can be the carriers of the demons, not the land. We need the cleaning in the church. We don't enjoy the things of the darkness. We hate darkness because darkness is not our friend, it's not your friend. Even those who are saving it, Oh, they are not enjoying life. They are saving it with fear. So that because they are being told that they will be killed. Please. We have strength. Our strength from the rock because we are connected with the rock. Why cleaning in the church? Please go and check where you are fellowshipping. You will see the people who are not serious in the Lord. And again, if you are here, still here. having things, the black one, the red one, the red powder, the blue powder, the, and then you mix, mix for protection. Go and throw those things away. They don't work. More especially if you are telling yourself that you are a Christian. You don't know your foundation. Tell us the thing which can compete with the rock. All these tall buildings. Do you know where are the foundation? It's right under. And again, there is a rock under. And sometimes when you look at this concrete, it has taken the character of the rock. 
whole level look of there. concrete. We have another example. Look there, up there. Look there. Which means they've put the cement there, they put the reinforces, and then when you try to touch it, it's like you are touching a rock. Know your foundation. Know where you belong. You are in the kingdom which is unshakable kingdom. Enjoy this kingdom. Have peace in this kingdom. Amen. Amen. Know that this kingdom is the only one kingdom which is having authority in all things. Can we look at those tall buildings up there? Look at that. When we are looking at it, it has taken the shape as if it's imitating the mountain. Look at the color. Hey. And we know it. For that building to stand like that, they put the cement, they put the concrete. Where do we find the concrete from the rock? The strength of the church is in Jesus Christ. Hey, your protection is in the name of Jesus. Your blessings are in the name of Jesus Christ. Not through sucking the blood like the devil worshippers. Hey, lift up your hands. Say, Lord, teach me to understand this cleaning in your prayer. The hearts of people need cleaning. Oh, cleaning is needed in the hearts of men who are in the church. Oh, Jesus. Pray. Rappel. Pray in the name of Jesus. When we are saying, Lord. I want to learn more and know many things. In your I don't want to be shut by the spirits. I don't want to be removed by the things which are in the darkness kingdom. Darkness kingdom has entered into the church. Things of darkness are in the church. People are taking children into protection by the witch doctors and come back again and bring their children to the pastors also. And sometimes they start with the pastor and then they get the passport and go straight to the witch doctors. What about those who are in the businesses? Many documents in the businesses that are being leaked by the snakes. And the snakes, they are calling themselves around the documents. Hey. All of you who are not yet born again, you are in the great time now because the favor of God has come upon your life. You stand up from where you are and quickly come to the front and receive Jesus Christ. Come and receive Jesus Christ. You will understand the Holy Spirit. You will understand the word of God. You will understand very well the name of Jesus Christ. You see, when you are receiving protection from outside the word of God, it needs to be renewed every year, six months, after three months. Hey, 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 hey. Renewing of the protection is very bad.